All right, guys and gals, out here again. Uh, we're gonna make another pass. The GPS is zeroed, but it's reading three for me. Just moving it around here. Had a couple cars pass by. Uh, we're at 100% power and a full battery. So we'll see what kind of numbers we can put down. I'm not expecting to see triple digits, but we'll see what kind of we can pick up from 90. Spin out action there. All right. Looks like we're clear. Uh oh. Flip, but we landed on our wheels. I'm pretty sure I hit a reflector there. I don't think that was a car, that was a parachute. Laid in it pretty good. All right, yeah, so we got 92. 92 miles an hour, so we picked up two. It's just sketchy going that way at full speed because it's going into the dark and over a hill. So I also removed, also removed a couple ounces of weight. So okay, I found the problem. So somehow I lost the dog bone. So. I have to go look for that down the street and uh, put that back. I don't know how that popped out. That must have been a pretty hard smack. Hopefully it didn't crack a drive cup. All right, to be continued. Oh, what's that? Found you. All right, back home on the bench, and uh, this is a couple days later. I uh, figured out what happened with the dog bone here. This. Uh, section of weights here came off during that tumble and I'm pretty sure it made its way in there and kicked the dog bone out but nothing else is broken um, you know, I made sure and checked everything but the one thing I found was this wheel is out of balance um, it's kind of hard to show you because I'm holding my phone and I'm trying to manipulate the car but I was using the plastic uh, wheel hexes up until this point and this one took a hard enough hit to where it's it's wobbly and I made sure that I switched this front and back one to make sure it wasn't the, the wheel or the foam that got bent or anything. Or, you know, I actually checked the axles too to make sure it didn't bent the hub axle. And one other thing I found, this, uh, this was loose here. This bolt right here. So that may have been contributing to my steering issues. And uh, I got the motor cover pulled here. After those few runs, the gears look I mean, they still look brand new. There's almost no wear on them, and I'm running them dry. I don't, I don't put any lube on there anymore. I was running like just a thin film of grease, just to kind of minimize the wear and help keep them cool or whatever. But everybody else I'm seeing it runs them dry, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I also got this in the mail today. Uh, King Bell gear package. It's a 45 tooth to 48 tooth. So I'm going to go with the 45 first, because that's jumping up 5 teeth. If I go all the way to 48, that's, that's kind of that's a big jump. So, um, But the motor was running with this setup with the 40 tooth. Uh, it was running at 130 degrees, so I think it can take a gear up, a significant gear up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get these gears fitted, and um, we'll be back. Alright, old pinning out. New pinion in, and it's meshing really nice. Really happy with that. Um, 
got everything loctited down, of course. And just have to put the motor cover back on and the uh, center brace. And take a trip to the hobby shop, get another pack of weights. And this zip tie I added after the crash, that wasn't there before, so it was just, I mean, it stuck pretty good. I figured it would hold, but no, I'm not, <laughs> not tumbling around at 90 miles an hour, so. Uh, also got those. We got some channel stickers, so that's cool. Uh, right place, keep an eye out for those in the mail. And I'll go ahead and spoil it. I'm gonna ship you one of these as well. I got a pack of eight uh, WPL boxes for my, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna do some stunt stuff with the Subaru and who knows, maybe some other creative stuff in the future. I'm gonna set up a little rally course. Um, probably tomorrow I might use a few of those so uh, stay tuned for that and thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one